They found Craig Pettis in a Mexican city called Querétaro, then sent him home. His last stop, Memphis, Tennessee, his hometown, and the place where authorities say he began his climb to the top of the drug trade. You can see heavily armed agents surrounding him as he's put in the back of an armored vehicle. From the private airfield, he's driven to federal court, a place authorities have been trying to get him for years. Why was he in Querétaro? What kind of place is this? One person with some ideas is Jose Guillermo Del Hoyo, who runs a drug rehab clinic in the area. Yes, the thing is that uh, there is a, a protection here for the for the lord, the drug lords, and they they have a truce. That's see, that's a truce with between them and the government. So a big, very, very big families live here in Querétaro for a long, long time. They always know each other, and I think that sometime, someone told him that this was a very safe place. The local government has denied that there's any agreement with organized crime, but no one disputes that Querétaro is usually a very safe place to live. For a short time, at least, this house was where Craig Petty's lived. It's in an upscale neighborhood called Millennio Trace. On the night of January 10th, 2008, Mexican soldiers and local law enforcement swept into Petty Street and arrested him and several others. And there were more raids and arrests in the surrounding area. Petty's was first identified by an alias, Paul Walter. His girlfriend, Latasha Booker, was identified as Alicia Moore Martinez. Later, officials would display the items they had taken from the home and other raids in the area. Big screen TVs, money, fancy watches, drugs, guns. Pettis was quickly sent back to the United States where he awaits trial. He has pleaded not guilty. In the years since, Mexico has seen thousands of deaths related to the drug trade. Why does anyone risk becoming a trafficker? Because you, you, you feel power. Here in Mexico, the drug lords, it, they are treated like, like, like heroes. They are, even they have songs for them. Narco Corridos, have you heard about that? If you hear one of those songs, they make them feel like they are gods. Salvador Dalí thinks about Mexico like a uh, surrealista, extra surrealista, un país surrealista. The drug problem here is the same, surreal, magic, religious, powerful, it's very different, like in other countries. It's not only the business. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things. To think transcendence, transcendencia, to make not only money, to make a name. Yes, it's wrong. It's poison. It's sadness. It's death. 